you guys have a permit for those? Huh? Ah! Whoa! Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah! Where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So, we tried to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. Selling bad Yo, wait a second. Spider's here! Call the boy! He ain't losing this shipment! Revenge time! Hey! 
Cover me! We have it. to get started! Hey guys! I just wanted to warn you about some shady characters selling bad Yo, yeah, wait a second! Spiders here! Call the boys! We ain't losing this shipment! Harder! Woo! Stop fighting us! I'll get you! Chuck him. Wait, there are we two more? Okay, last crate. Nice. Wow, really nice. Happy birthday, Lex. Is that you? Oh man, I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. my backpack around here somewhere. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Miles. Over here. Hey. He made it. I want to talk to him about computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. We left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words. Missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yeah. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any text come? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps. Wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please.
you find her, we'll do our best. Miss Fergus is missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man! I gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. I think there's something stuck between my teeth. Eo, Miles. What's up, Yankee? Can this wait? Nothing. Don't really? Look I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki. Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh... Well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable. Trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. And I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person. Clarify some things. Get the jump on him. I thought I had him. All right. With those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. Like I told you, I work for Rand Corporation. The signal's coming from where? There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. The hard way. You kid. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. 
By yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother for. <sighs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Can't do this alone. Spider Man, can you help us? Everything okay? Lance, he was kidnapped by Midtown. Don't you guys have like a huge game against them tomorrow? That's the whole point. Look, they explained it in this note. Pretty sure that note leads to the Stewart building, but we can't access the roof. See why we called you? Yeah, I'll look around. Mm, that RJ kid. I knew not to hold the door for him. Wait, the Stewart building? I wonder why the Midtown kids took Lance there. Did you find him already? Not quite. But I have to know, why the Stewart building? A BB kid won a robotics contest against Midtown at Stewart Robotics and Engineering last year. Midtown lost. Sounds like Midtown is super bothered about it. They'll be even more bothered when we get Lance back. A 
Looks like RJ left another note. Okay. If I want to find Lance, I'll need to shine the UV light on the mural somehow. Hmm. Maybe I could re-angle these beams. Sweet. I'm sure that old box won't mind if I just give it a little love tap. Get a message. I knew it. We BIPOC artists are birds of a feather. To find the next clue, all a band together. Hmm. BIPOC artists. Haley's the art expert. Let me give her a call. I heard you're looking for Lance. Did you find him? Not yet. Midtown's making us work for it. But I could use your help, sending you a pic. BIPOC artists. Birds of a feather. Hmm. There's a bunch of BIPOC murals at Rodney and Third. Don't know what Alaban means, though. Thanks, Haley. I owe you one. That thank you was plenty. But I'm always down for coffee. You got it. Ton of murals here. Gotta be a hidden message on one of them. How are we doing? I'll find land soon. I think. Midtown's hidden messages on murals around town. Right now, I'm at Rodney and Third, trying to find the next clue. Where Anders Oliband's painting is? <laughs> Makes sense. Oliband? Midtown mentioned him in the clue. Who is he? Phoebe's own premier art prodigy turned research fellow at the Musée de la Vie in Paris? Maybe Midtown's jealous they don't have an alum like that. <laughs> Competition is stiff, but your tactics are stale. The greatest in the region shall soon prevail. Hey, Haley, got another clue for you. Send the pick. Hmm. Greatest in the region. If it's about another mural, you might want to try North Williamsburg. Didn't BV and Midtown have a chess match there last week? Yes. Regionals. Ended in a stalemate. Aha! That explains why Midtown's so bitter. I'll check it out. Two murals this time? Man, Midtown really doesn't want us to find Lance. Good thing Brooklyn Visions has Spider-Man on their side. they get all this equipment this setup is impressive like ridiculously impressive <laughs> So there are two paths then. Gotta hand it to Midtown. They spend some s Main. As in Main Street? Main Street has hundreds of locations. I need more details. Wait. Why didn't the second one light up? Must be more to do. I guess if I have time to be Spider-Man, they've got time to set up an elaborate puzzle around the city. <clears throat> one, one, two, one. That 
must be the street number. Finally. Okay, what's it say? 1121 Main Street. That must be where they're hiding Lance. Hey, Miles. Speak on it. I think I found Lance. 1121 Main Street. You, I could count on you. Here, buddy? Maybe he's in here. <gasps> Lance the Lion. Time for you to head home. One of you must be RJ. Spider-Man? No fair. Brooklyn Vision's cheated. Whoa, Spider-Man? Guess BB couldn't figure it out on their own. Thanks for the fun and games. But I've got to get this guy home. Any luck? On my way back. And I'm bringing a fluffy friend. Lance! You found him! Is he okay? Did they hurt him? Looks safe and sound to me. They had him in the garage. It was kind of dusty. He might need a bath. Anyway, hurry back. We're all ready for him. On my way. <laughs> Lance is back! <laughs> Lance! Spider-Man got him back! You did it, Spider-Man! Thanks for getting Lance back safe, and just in time for the game. Ah, oh, someone's asking their special one to homecoming. But it looks like things got out of hand. Did they overdo it like one of those gender reveal things? Oh, man. Sounds I less dramatic than that. I think it's kind of sweet. Yeah, you're right. Seems like you might need some spider help. Yeah, I had everything planned out. The clues, the screens, the art, the people, everything has to be perfect. Whoa, 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 okay, I got you. Can you explain a little slower? What happened? <sighs> okay, I want to ask someone to homecoming, but he's... Special. I couldn't just do flowers or chocolate. I got some screens, and I want to light them up with a message. But the generator's busted. Guy who rented it out to me won't answer. What a scam. I think I can help. Thanks. I rented the generator from Reynolds & Company Rentals. I'll send you the address. On it. Generators are going for a lot these days. This baby's ours. You understand? That's no ordinary rental transaction. <laughs> you look tired. Check on the salesperson. Thanks, Spider-Man. Glad to help. Your client asked me to look into a delivery delay. I guess we got our answer. Yeah, about that. I'd love to deliver this thing, but those idiots already did so much damage. If she's salvageable, it'll take weeks of repairs. Mind delivering the bad news for me? Can do. Better call Vijay and give him the bad news. Tell me some good news. Well, it's news. The generator's busted. Wait! Okay, I'm not out of ideas yet. Just come back. I've got something else in mind. Since the generator's no good, does BB have any backup ones? I know they keep generators on the roof, but they're all overpowered for my setup. We blow a fuse. Unless we find something underpowered. I should be able to pick up that low voltage frequency. 
And your electrical powers would fill in the rest. Theoretically. Worth a shot. Or a shock. I've got a friend who would love that joke. Found a generator, but it's deactivated. See? That should work great. Mind getting your special... spark? <laughs> got the voltage we need. Now we just gotta route it to the ground floor. Yes! I knew you'd figure it out. Maybe I could connect these power nodes. Power seems to be traveling through an old circuit. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should go into electrical engineering. Thank you, a million. Oh, maybe you should call yourself the Great Electric Spider. Thanks. I like Spider-Man just fine. Oh! Just got a text. He's on his way. Uh, don't go just yet. I could still use your help. Just hide. DJ's texting me. What? A whiteboard? Hmm. <laughs> oh, VJ, what are you up to? Wait a sec. That's the equation he helped me with on our first date. Study session. Study date? Spider-Man, that's the first clue. Mind flipping it? Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> okay, what is this? Aw, oh, that's the movie we saw when we had our first kiss. <laughs> Look, braces, lip balm, and all. <sighs> but still, best kiss ever. <laughs> Spider-Man, the poster is stuck. Can you give it a tug? Oh! <laughs> Vijay must be in the quad. Time for the big reveal. Find a seat, grab some popcorn. Vijay? This whole thing has you written all over it. I've always known you're a special guy. And I'm lucky you're my special guy. I love you, Lucas. Will you... Will you... Ah... Uh, home? Ah... Uh, not exactly. Oh no. Gotta be something I can do to help here. Need to use my chain lightning. Vijay, of course. Matching sequin blazers? Hell yeah. Phew, that was close. Spider-Man! Come down so I can thank you properly! Thank you for making this possible. Holy crap. You really got Spider-Man in on this? Best day ever. Anything for love, guys. Happy for you both. Enjoy homecoming.
Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Okay. We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course. Get him through. Dr. Mulligan, I'm at work. That data does not cross tabulate with the AI learning system in the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? 
You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Look out! Yep! Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh... Any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent... Fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. Did you see the monthly schedule update? 
Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. We study asteroids, meteoroids, meteors, and meteors. Stuff that we have to kill. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Can you hear about Roger? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rebor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. This way! Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. 
So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. <gasps> Go ahead. Swipe. A reminder that... Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Hey, 
I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. Uh, but I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Hmm. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. Wait to see this grow. If this works, these plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a 
few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? This should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider- Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Hey, sorry about that. And sorry for how incommunicado I've been. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... Duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, littering? Come on, man. here. Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm in Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Hope you have renter's insurance. Take a look under the hood. I'll take that as a no. Oh, 
It's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. <laughs> You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Oh, come on, Bertie, let go! Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Heard something. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it? A leave of absence, so I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was Craven who did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt real game. And here I am. Atta boy. You make this too easy, Spider. Where? Was that the spider? Spider-Man located. Above! What's that shot? Can't move! Hello. 
Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Genki. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? Why? Yes, it's loaded. Well, do I do it? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. You hungry too? <clears throat> nice to sleep. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beetles, Talon drones, ammunition. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich, but well connected. Or both. Fair enough. But I did not expect Craven to care so much about plants. I've seen him walk a hunter back from the brink of death with what he carries in his pouches. He doesn't restrict himself with a straight jacket of modern medicine. What just happened? <gasps> You'll sleep it off. You never told me who you'd bet on outside Volgo. His name does not deserve to be spoken. He his youth from keeping the advantage. And he had lived there all his life. Knew the trails perfectly. It makes sense. But his age is what did he know. What's that? to next looks like this is the only way a research lab an inner demon mask Lee's old superpower gang Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. That's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to 
Riot Taya? Guess Craven could. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. Definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I hear you were not impressed by the Scorpion. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. Relying on hallucinogens and plays. some answers instead of all right craven what are you looking for wait i get bringing scorpion and lee on a hunt but black cat's a thief i don't <laughs> Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> nice doggy! 
Freaky Kitty Robot! No joke! guys putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment.
Where are you? Estás listo? For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. <sighs> Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list, too. Black Hat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise. I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? Maybe I should try to find some hunter hideouts. about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, 